Hey, this is Jeremy, and welcome to The Daily Devo. Today, we're talking about the miracle that happened at the Pool of Bethesda. Have you ever been persecuted for doing a good thing? I know it sounds strange, but it happens. I was reading a story the other day about a 63-year-old woman. She has 10 grandkids, is known to everybody as a kind and generous woman. She decided that she was going to walk down the road and put coins in people's expired meters so they wouldn't get a ticket. Seemed like a good deed. But the city actually disagreed and fined this kindly grandma for $500 and at one point actually put her in handcuffs. It turns out she was breaking some obscure city ordinance and the city didn't want her paying for other people's parking. It seems crazy, right? Wait until you hear the miracle that Jesus does at the Pool of Bethesda. The story goes that people with disabilities would hang around the pool and at some point the water would stir and people would race to be the first person in the water and whoever was first was healed. So Jesus ends up at this place and he sees this guy who's been disabled for a really long time and he asks the guy if he wants to get well. And as you can imagine, and I'm paraphrasing, but the man says, uh, yeah, I want to be healed. In John chapter 5 and verses 8 through 10. Then Jesus said to him, get up and pick up your mat and walk. And at once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and he walked. The day on which this took place was a Sabbath. And so the Jewish leader said to the man who had been healed, it is the Sabbath and the law forbids you to carry your mat. The Jewish leaders get mad that this guy just received the greatest miracle of his life. You're mad because he's walking around on the Sabbath. Can you imagine being so cynical and religious that you don't celebrate this amazing miracle, but rather look for somebody to yell at? Later on, they discover it was Jesus. And in verse 16, it says that the Jewish leaders began to persecute Jesus because he healed a man on the Sabbath. Sometimes in life, we get persecuted for doing a good thing. We can give money and get taken advantage of. We can extend kindness and receive spite in return. We can be truthful and honest and be met with gossip and insults. And I want to encourage you today, as Mother Teresa used to say, do good anyways. The Bible actually encourages us to not grow tired in doing good. Maybe you're tired of doing good. I want you to know that you're in good company. Today, make a new commitment that how you treat people and what you do for others won't be based off the response from the past, but rather we do good because it's simply the right thing to do. 